<laughs> shut up. If you don't get on with this, I'm going to punch you. OK, I've got two things to do. Have you? Come on, then. How did you liberate okay. it with me? First one, mm -hmm. Eddie, by Bowman. So it actually belongs to you, then? Yes, it is uh, a lovely hat. Yes. Worn by a certain Brian McFadden. Alias Westlife. Alias Westlife. Uh, which he wore on Friday night to um, a young man's birthday party. Well, you were out without me again, uh, weren't yep. you? Uh, and he was wearing this to hide his... Nicky, who's also had a rather terrible haircut at the moment. OK. Maybe I think he's lovely. Them all hot. I think he's lovely, but a bit of a funny wedgie step thing going on. OK. Yeah. We'll play his dressing rooms. Say no more. No, I can't do that, Miss B. Otherwise, this link's going to be incredibly boring. Shyster. No, I said shyster. <gasps> are you doing Who some people would argue are all shyster. Oh, stop saying that, but no word. Shyster is a slang term used for a common swindler, a cheat, a fraud, somebody who extracts or uses a deception to extract money from people. Did you get that from? Here with us, back to back. Back to basics, back in black. Back is what we do best, which is um, backing each other up. Which is why I'm pleased to announce that a British band who were here a few years ago who went over there. Where? Well, to the States, are back. They're back, you hear me. Hell yeah! Baby Mac are back, even though we didn't even realise they'd gone anywhere. Well, not really. Back here on the Hit This Chart, just outside that all-important top ten, at eleven. New entries who weren't invited to be in the chart, but were so damn good. They just turned up to make I an impression. Damn what? Good. <laughs> <laughs> And there's those re-entries that just keep coming back. Kind of like Miss Mumba, who's been a high... Sorry. Get off me. What's up? Oh, it's great to hang out with you once a week in this kind of giant inflatable castle type thing. Not eating or having a chance to go to the toilet, but I just... <clears throat> I need my own personal space. This is my damp space. That's your damp space. OK. I know you're disgusting. Well, welcome back to what we like to call the beginning of the second part of the show. And the end of very... No useful. What happens, though, if you've got... A useful product yep. that becomes useless. Well, you just pick yourself up and start all over, over again. <laughs> like Damon Orban. It's a terrible blur. Terrible is not a word I would use to describe blur. Mm -hmm. But gorillas is a word I'd use to describe his new project. Some would say Damon was a highly unanimated character, but he's created some animated characters of his own. What character? Gorilla singing about Clint Eastwood and dancing like Michael Jackson. Groovy. It wasn't me at this week's number one. Yeah, no, it was Shaggy. I know, I was just stating the obvious for those people out there who obviously don't know the obvious. Obviously. Can't believe it's the end of another great hitless UK show. I'm still bursting full of energy. Do you fancy it with physical? All right. I knew that was in me. You know those advert things where strangers come and talk to you? You shouldn't talk to strangers unless you're on a blind date. That's been my experience anyway. Have you ever been on a blind date? Yeah. Have you ever been on yeah, a blind date? No. Have you seriously ever been on a blind date? You've never been on a blind date, have you? You're just straight. You're so straight. You just toe the line the whole time. You've never been on a blind date, have you? The only time someone set you up with someone is when you've known them, right? And they're probably your best friend or your brother or your uncle or even more very your father. It's time for the ad. <laughs> is coming on. And so is this week's number one on our hit this chart. Gorilla! It's gorillas! <laughs> Type. <Nah. laughs> so, so far, we've had an array of stars on our chart who've arrayed and not dismayed. But there's no denying that there is plenty more to come. There is indeed. But before we start to proceed with more bubbles of from the world of Hitless UK, we must refresh ourselves with the news that... Bubbles everywhere. We've reached the halfway stage of the show. Have we? Which basically means that we also have to reach the halfway point in our chart then. Mm -hmm. Right? So if you haven't been watching, here's what's been happening between 20 and 10. Oh. Wear so much makeup, those boys. Do they? Yeah. Take longer to get ready than I do. No. Yes. Like Never. mascara and everything. I love the mascara. No. Now then, not long now before the all-important hit this UK top 10. I can't 10. believe that. But mm -hmm. why should our lovely people wait until then? Let's give them a taste of what quality tunes to expect by playing this week's number 10. Can we do that? Yeah. Let's face it, I don't want to see Missy getting freak on with us for not playing a video. Aha, uh -huh. two true blue, let's freak Baby out to Missy Elliot at this week's number 10. So
I want to be you too, mate. Do you know, anything can happen in this crazy world of television. Uh, do you have proof of this? The proof is in the pudding. Right. Would you like me to go and get it for you? OK. Just coming out of every orifice today, isn't it? Yes. Now, we've already mentioned that MTV is going text crazy for a week, so by way of an introduction... <laughs> and since you didn't want to get left out of the in crowd... Today's hit list chart will be presented in text form, or text form, text. because it's cooler and quicker to drop the vowels, so get those fingers that are ready, Miss Delay. OK. Get texting. See, there you go. Well, that's enough text madness for now, but don't forget to check out MTV's text week coming to a text friendly TV near you. But that's another day. Right now, let's check out another video by another artist. Two artists, one song, Brandy and RJ, their brother and sister. Really? Another day in paradise. You are a font Phil of Collins, classic. What else is doing it then? I'm not quite sure, but that was Brandy and her brother doing another day in paradise. What's your idea of paradise, my dear? You know what? I quite like... The pool and the, the beach. Or plate you? of tropical fruit with ice cream. And a bottle of chocolate. Or Johnny Walker. Don't worry, mate. <laughs> Thanks. Um, anyway, from the idea of paradise to a taste of paradise. Chocolate covered coconut sensation. No, I'm not. Back to you, Now, would you like me to call you Cat or Dean? Well, it really doesn't matter as long as you don't call me a cab. Because we haven't even begun the show yet, have we? <laughs> well, we'll be back in a few minutes after Cat has calmed down after her trip to NYC. Mm -hmm. So, did you go up in any elevators while you were there? What? Why are you asking me that? Well, because it's a tedious link into the next video. It's not loving an elevator by Aerosmith, is it? Unfortunately not. It's elevation by you two. <laughs> yeah, and as I was saying earlier, I like how um, Edge has taken sort of more of a, you know, prominent role in it. I think they were all actually really jealous about it. Were they? Because if they work with Destiny's Child now, then Edge hasn't got one. It's like gazed up now. Oh. Yeah. He has got Angelina Jolie, though. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> anyway, you know when, when you worked with Dane Bowers last week? Yeah. Was he, um, was he as good as me? Well, yes in some ways, yes. but no in others. He had your good looks and flair, but he failed completely in the girly chat mode. Why was that then? Well, because he's a bloke. Obviously. Oh. Anyway, do you think that when a thing is replaced, mm. the thing it replaced seems somewhat more worthwhile than it was? What do you mean, like the time I nicked that lipstick off you, that cheap, and then replaced it with a cheap one? Um, no, but thanks uh, for admitting to that. It's like when a band covers a song, and the song that you didn't think was good originally sounds better. Oh, I see, like Westlife's Billy Joel, Uptown Girl. Genre <laughs> of music that's popular with the masses, right? Yeah. It is, in essence, popular music, or in a shortened, abbreviated form, we know it as pop music. Everybody's talking about it. London, Paris, New York, Munich, everybody talk about pop music. Talk you about too music. used that music for their pop album tour. Indie rockers pop will eat itself, got eaten up by the masses, and uh, pop, pop, shoo, pop, pop goes the weasel. Pop, pop. Let's see some uh, pop in its purest form. Go on, then. Some good looking guys who are young, fun, and full of good groovy moods. The Bee Gees! <sighs> in sync. And can you guess what this pop track is called? <laughs> Correct the one though. Let's rock. I really some... like this video. Do it again. And again. And again. Good I girl. like this video. I think it sounds like Prince. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, free upgrade. Yes. Uh, from for my friend from economy to first. Okay. Uh, free upgrade. Couple of drinks when you get the. Uh, yes. Watch, uh, take the band to the stage. Yes. Well, well we're going to be seeing the last new entry of the week from Gorilla. Ah! Can you handle that? Can no. you eat it? Can you handle that? Um, have you seen the video yet? For what? Gorillas. No. It's absolutely brilliant. It's something to do with that they're going along a highway, though, isn't it? Yeah, and there's a big moose at the end, and it's all about trying to blow up the moose. I like the song, though. Yeah. But is it worth seeing the video now we've talked about it? Now you've given away the storyline, for goodness sakes. Definitely. It's another new entry, for goodness sake. At number five. <laughs> Gorillas with 19-2000. So, um, Eid, mm -hmm. do you fancy uh, going to watch some guys in tight shorts bang with some few balls around? Um, you do whatever it is that you like doing, but just keep me out of it, please. Eat? I mean Wimbledon, don't I? Like, like, let's go down to Centre Court, let's have strawberries and cream, let's watch some men in very tight shorts, bit of champs, 
And of course, Cliff Richard. <gasps> We're all going on a summer holiday. So do you fancy going there? Yeah. Because I've got the cab waiting outside. Have you? Yeah, Brilliant. sort of. Before we get in the cab, though, do you know what's number one? Uh, Christina Aguilera. Oh, it's not just Christina Aguilera. Yeah. It's Christina, Pink, Little Kim, Maya and Missy Elliott. Well, according to these emails, they'd, uh, these emails, these emails right here, they'd uh, quite like to see Weetus at number one. Do you know what? It's a good job we have a little respect for the email friendly people out there because they are indeed at this week's number one. You know what, Eve? Yeah? I'm glad I've learnt all about this email thing. Why? Well, I'm going to be off for the next few weeks. So Again? Yes, yeah, so that's the only way you'll be able to get in touch with me. You'll have to do what the viewers have done and email me. All right, well, I'll see you Sorry. in a few weeks then. But I'll see you next week. Maybe what you could do is you could email me at www.mtv.co.uk and tell me who you'd like to see me do the show with while she 